The Trinity River in downtown Dallas, well, you might not think of it as a place of solace, but this morning there will be a water blessing by Native Americans who make North Texas home. We're joined by Dora Brought Plenty, who organized the event to honor Mother Earth. And she's also a member of the Lakota tribe and makes Dallas home. We also have Martha Jarman. She's a licensed clinical social worker with Texas Native Health here in Dallas. So I'm mm -hmm. so glad to have you ladies here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start off with Dora um, because water is a valuable resource. So tell us about this water blessing and what it means. Well, um, especially here in, in uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area, you know, uh, water is life. And um, I've been going down there walking uh, the Trinity River by Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. Um, and we want to go down there and uh, um, uh, Annette Anderson will be doing a water blessing. Um, and um, doing her ceremony, and then we will. We also will have a uh, opening prayer song with uh, uh, Robert. He will be doing a, a uh, opening prayer song on his flute, um, and it's all to keep us culturally grounded. Um, and um, so we'll have that going on, and then we're going to do a waterway cleanup where we're picking the trash up along the river there all the way down one side and back up on the other. Okay, so what time mm -hmm. is this starting? And is everyone welcome to come on out and help you guys with this effort? Mm -hmm. Anybody and everybody is welcome. Um, and uh, it, you know, our native community is the one that's coming out. We also have Dallas for Change is coming out. Okay. Um, helping donate a lot of supplies and everything. We've been gearing this up. And so we're very blessed with all the help that, you know, we're, is coming and, and our native and non-native community coming together to help with this event. Yeah, let's talk about that because mm -hmm. our viewers, we start at 10 o'clock, starting at 10. Mm -hmm. You know, our viewers uh, may not realize that Dallas Fort Worth actually has the largest indigenous population mm -hmm. in the state. Yes. Uh, Martha, tell us about that coming from Texas Native Health. Well, we are, we changed our name. It used to be Urban Intertribal and it's an agency that's been around for 50 plus years. And we provide a medical care. We have dental, a dental clinic. We also do diabetes management. We have a behavioral health that works with substance abuse and tra human trafficking, we have tuition assistance, wow. job assistance, all mm -hmm. kinds of different programs to help our local native and around Texas. We have people that come from all over Texas and even some of the surrounding states for our services. We do a lot of cultural things and activities and it's to support the, the indigenous population that's here in the Dallas area, but we go beyond because we do have catchment from all over the whole state. Right, how are you guys working on preserving culture? Well, we, hold, we hold classes um, that reintroduce the, our cultural um, crafts and our cultural dress. And um, it's, we're always active in, in uh, enriching mm -hmm. the cultural ways. Um, and I myself have used uh, the Texas Native Health when it was Dallas Inner Tribal, uh, 1971. Wow. So, mm hmm. Okay. Very important. It is. It is. I want to mm -hmm. get some information out there for some people to, to join you uh, this morning. The event will start at 10 o'clock this morning mm -hmm. at the west end of the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge at North Beckley in Singleton in Dallas. And then that cleanup will go until 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So good luck, ladies, to you. And please mm -hmm. ooh, stay cool out there. We too. have lots mm -hmm. of water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. Thank you for your efforts as well. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Thank of you. Course. We appreciate the time. Mm -hmm.